So the hardware for this is pretty simple. So this, if this Tupperware looks familiar to you, that means you've seen some of my older videos, including my Am I in a Meeting video where I detect Zoom meetings. So I pretty much just hijacked that, uh, the hardware from that for this project here. So I have this connected to a Raspberry Pi 0W, which is inside this uh, enclosure here. Uh, and it's connected to just a simple power bank. Uh, it provides about 2.5 amps of uh, current. Uh, and I have the, the the data pin connected to pin 18. You can find the Fritz diagram on easyprogramming.net and on the GitHub repository. So let's take a look at what the software looks like. So the Flask app is really simple. It's just a basic Flask app that makes Ajax calls to the back end, which writes to a status file the transition type, whether chase, smooth, wipe, scroll in, scroll out as well as the color code and the back end reads that data and, and stores it. So it's, it's very simple, but before I move forward and show you what that looks like, I just want to thank uh, Jack B for, uh, for being a patron this month. Uh, uh, thank you, Jack. If you do want to support me, do head on over to patreon patreon.com slash nasmus and, and check me out. Um, going back to the software, so as I was saying, the file here, the status.txt file, is just a simple comma-separated file. It stores the transition in the first value and then the color code. Uh, because of how it's set up, it can only do one color at a time, but it can be queued so you can switch pretty much from you know, like red to green to blue pretty, pretty easily if you want to do that. I do want to make updates to this so that we can have individually programmed LEDs later on. Uh, I'm still working on how to do that. I could have done a database, I could have done MQTT, so those are options that I am exploring. LEDwatchdog.py is the, the brains of this, so it has watchdog events set up here, which looks for changes to the status.txt file. If it matches any of the transitions, it'll trigger the, the transition code here, the visualization code here, which lights things up. So one of the other ways I thought about doing this was with MQTT, so I might make a change to this later on, but I figured I would try uh, watchdog here just as a learning point. This GitHub repository has all the information you need to connect. Uh, the hardware setup is pretty simple. If you have less than 200 LEDs, you can power it right from the Pi if you have a 2.5 amp or higher power source. I inst include an install script, which installs pretty much everything for you from, uh, from the virtual environment to Apache. Uh, you still have to install Flask yourself and set up Apache yourself. I didn't do that so that you have some freedom to make some changes yourself, but uh, if I have enough requests to make updates to this, that it does everything for you. Uh, I can probably do that. I can, I can look into doing that as well. Uh, and if you know me, you know I love working with Flask behind Apache because I can just make Ajax requests like this without having to uh, without having to worry about cores or anything. And of course, make, having a run behind Apache makes this plug and play. So as soon as I turn it on, this turns on. The one catch here is that you have to run the LED watchdog script manually. I haven't figured out how to do it through the Flask app yet. I'm still working on that. So after you boot the Pi, you have to run this uh, script in order to, uh, in order for the lights to work. Otherwise, it won't work. Later on, and hopefully in version two, I'll have that figured out. And to kill it is the simple uh, p kill command, uh, pg kill command. Uh, and I already have uh, endpoints set up to turn on and turn off uh, the lights. Uh, I haven't checked this in yet. But anyways, it's a really simple setup. So once everything is working, uh, I'll bring up my here. So I'm doing everything inside a virtual environment. I have LED watchdog. Um, you can run into the background or you can run in the foreground like I'm doing here. It does have some checks. So if I turn on the lights again, I'll open my JavaScript console so you can see the network requests that are being made. So um, smooth is just, is, I should just call it like sudden or something because it just changes it as you click. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty uh, fast. Uh, the only output the, the Python script outputs is if it can't read the file. So it tries again, so it's, it does it pretty fast. Uh, I think there's some collision if you, if you click things too fast, it'll not be able to read it at first and then be able to read it later. Uh, chase is pretty simple. It's like, a, I think it's called theater chase. Uh, it does like 30 cycles of this and stops. I do want to make that programmable later on. Uh, if you click on any of these uh, presets here, it'll automatically send the, co uh, send the command here. Um, or you can click a 
color here and then click on save uh, and that does the exact same thing. So let's check out wipe. Wipe is uh, pretty simple. It just starts from the beginning, goes to the end one way. Uh, and that gave me the idea to do scroll in and scroll out, which is it starts at the middle, uh, scroll in, starts at the outside, and meets in the middle, scroll out, starts in the middle and goes outside. So let's have scroll in connected. Let's do like this orange color, save. Uh, and it sends a get request. It's, it's pretty simple. If I do scroll out, we'll do the last one. So I'll just click this. You can see it starts from the middle. Uh, the middle isn't exactly near where my Tupperware is, uh, but it's there. And to turn it off, it's just black. Uh, here you go. Uh, it's pretty simple for now. Uh, I'm still building on it. If you have any questions, if you need help setting up, let me know. I'm, I'm usually always more than happy to help. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe and remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials and more uh, videos. And if you have requests, let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.